Hi guys. Okay, so some of you were asking about how to make yourself look a little bit more refreshed in a, um, a Zoom, Skype, some sort of like meeting online situation. And so I have just a couple pointers for you. Um, right now I have my eyebrows done and I didn't include that in the video because that takes forever. I can do a separate video on that if you want, but it just like nobody wants to see me just filling them in forever. Um, but I also have CC cream. So there's CC foundation, um, or I mean, it's instead of foundation, it's CC cream from It Cosmetics. And it is, um, it's basically like a good cream for your face. It's anti-aging and hydrating. Um, so you can use this for like, instead of foundation, or you can use this Bye Bye Foundation. Um, it's from it cosmetics as well this one is for skin that needs a little bit extra moisture so i would recommend either one of those if you need some sort of foundation or even if you want some sort of foundation to help even out um, your skin tone then i would start with concealer so take a concealer brush it can be one of these flat ones or it can be also like sorry like a domed brush like this um, I prefer actually to kind of use both of them. I, t I take the flat one, just a little bit of product on the brush. I used a lot. She used Shh. too much. So a little goes over a long way, right? So we're just kind of putting the product into place and you just basically want to kind of start to brighten up your eyes. So, um, you're putting like a lighter color under your eyes. You're kind of highlighting them getting rid of any sort of like dark circles, yada yada. You're placing it with this brush. You can keep blending with this brush, but I just prefer to use um, a domed brush to kind of fill it in. So notice, like I started to place it right here and I kind of went out with it. And then as I blended, I blended up and down toward my nose because we often have like redness around our nose. So I went straight down here. It's kind of like a triangle. Okay, so concealer just kind of brightens the air, the eye area a little bit, makes you um, look a little bit more awake. Um, the other thing that we can do for eyes, um, I have been using these Laura Mercier shadow sticks for months now because like, unless I'm doing a real intense eye look, I just want easy, easy to put on, easy to do, easy to blend, easy, easy is the name of the game. So I start with the um, copper color and you just put it like basically on your lid. Um, Looks pretty. Yeah, and I just like blend it with my pinky. There's like, it's the easiest thing to do. Type. Easiest thing Watch to do, Shh, honey. And then I'm gonna do it on this eye, same thing. So I'm not putting it on the inner corner yet because I'm gonna put a lighter corner or a lighter color in the corner. So I blend that. It's like a pretty shimmery color. And then I take rose gold on the inner corner. And then blend that out with the other one. Okay, so that kind of just like brighten again we're all we're all about brightening the eyes um waking them up a little bit and this is just like a super easy way to get rid of any sort of redness and to get a little bit of a sheen there and the other um big tip slash trick that i like to use is putting it right in the inner corner um like literally in the inner corner a little bit below the eye so you can see like where it is before i blend it and then again, I just use my pinky. You can use a brush if you want. But that right there helps to kind of open them up and make you look um, more awake, less zombie-like. Blush always helps. Blush always helps to make you look just like, just better. <laughs> helps, to, helps to make you look better. So my favorite, um, my favorite liquid blush is from um, Benefit. And this is, there's a bunch of different colors you can get. And um, basically, whichever color you want to go with, um, my favorite is Lolly Tint or Cha 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 Tint. There's also po Posy Tint, and there's like the original one, and I can't remember what it's called, but they're all good. 
but I use this on my cheeks and my lips. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so you unscrew it and there's like a bunch of product on the um, brush. Just take a little bit on your ring finger, teeny tiny, and then dab it onto your cheek and blend it in. And I just like this because it, it's not, it's like a nice little like glow along with the color. It's not like, I don't know, it's just easy. Again, all this stuff is just supposed to be like easy, a way to like brighten up your face for video conferencing or calls or whatever. And a little goes a long way. You don't want to use the brush straight on your skin. I'm going to add a little bit more because I want a little bit more color. Again, it's so much easier to add than it is to you like use too much and be like, oh shoot, now I gotta wash my face. Okay, then you take a little bit and I put it on my lips just to add a little color. And this lolly tint is like a, more like a lavender purple type. The cha-cha tint is like a orangey coral, I'd say. So we've got um, concealer, blush, some like brightening, easy to use eyeshadow. And then the last thing I'm gonna tell you guys about is mascara. Mascara is very important because it helps like open your eyes. And um, those of you who have lash extensions, they're awesome, but like I don't know how long it will be until we can get them filled. I don't have them, so I guess that's like a good thing right now, but I do have my nails. I'm like, oh, how's that gonna happen? So anyway, this is a uh, roller lash also from Benefit and um, I, Shane and I like this brush because it kind of curls your lashes a bit and helps them to be open even if you don't use a lash curler, which I don't know, I have one, but like I, I don't use it because my lashes aren't really that like stick straight. If you do have stick straight lashes, you might want to use the curler. Use it before you put the mascara on and don't heat it up or anything. Just use it before and then layer your mascara. Okay, just like a little bit just to pop the eyes a little bit. Um, I usually use like at least two layers. That just helps to open your eyes a little bit. Um, like I said, I'd, I'd go for like two layers, maybe more, depending how my lashes are looking on that any given day. Um, and then, so I said I was gonna let this sink in and now it's dried. And I layer this stuff. This is like one of my favorite glosses of all time because it, it like, it helps to create, well, I mean, I think it it's a lip injection. So it helps to create like, bigger plumper lips but my favorite thing about it is the color that it gives them because of that tingling factor <laughs> oh it smells good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> sure does let it set or sit there for a second i wish you could smell it and then it starts tingling and then it kind of gives your, your lips like an extra glow extra glow and it gives them um I often wear that like on its own and after like after it's um set on my lips for like a minute or two it starts tingling and then it, it like gives like the perfect natural color okay so I know I said that was the last thing the mascara was gonna be the last thing but I have one more thing if you really want to like um I don't know, like, look, re look refreshed and, and all nice and stuff. This might just be for me because we live in an area where it's a literal blizzard outside right now. And a lot of you guys have, like, 70 degree weather and sun. And not for you necessarily, but for me, bronzer is just, like, one of those awesome products that can make you look... I did in my other video. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. So let me show you how to, re how to really do it. She put it straight up on my nose. Let me show you how to do it, okay? Take this giant fluffy brush that I squished. I was wondering why it looked like that. <laughs> okay, dip it into the bronzer and you, you can like, what, what do you call that? Tap it on the um, tone pack. tap. Apparently I couldn't remember. And then just kind of like wave it across the front. You're gonna put it basically where the sun will hit. So if you were, you know, like walking around and the sun would hit like pretty much right here on the tops of your nose, a little bit on the, okay, honey. A little bit on the I'm top sure. parts of your face. Just where the sun would hit. So yeah, so just a couple things to like help take you to that like brighter, healthier, not as tired, happier look that we all might need a little like help with right now. So concealer, mascara, brightening shadow, and blush. 
And if you want, bronzer, because that helps too. All right. So thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, let me know if you have any um, recommendations or any questions, because we have a lot of time on our hands right now. So we're here for you. Let us know what you need. All right. See you soon. What? Thanks for watching.